All right, YouTube, just another project here. I went ahead and found a used treadmill that someone was throwing out, so I grabbed the motor out of it. And I saw a few videos on YouTube. People made elaborate frames to hold up their bicycle and mount a treadmill motor. And uh, I like to keep things simple. I'll spend a few bucks just to uh, get around all this cutting wood and building an A-frame and this and that. I, I got this little stand here off of eBay for like 48 bucks free delivery. So I figured it was worth it. Um, I was going to build a framework for the motor. wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to attach it. I knew uh, this gravity resistance here is kind of what I was after. I was thinking about mounting it up here by the seat and sit right here on the back tire. But I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And the bracket itself just happens to fit over a 2x4. So at the bottom, I've got the 2x4 resting on this part of the frame with two 2x4s on either side. Kind of keep it steady. I got a cross 2x4 here. And I had an old curtain rod um, bracket that I cut. I had to put some duct tape around the seat to uh, make it fit tight and attached it that way. Um, at first I used that bicycle there, but it's only an 18 speed and I was pumping hard to get a even 14 volts out of it. So let me climb on board here and see what we can do. Got my little meter here. I've got some grid tie inverters out back on my solar panels. And I'll go ahead and grab one of those maybe in the next day or two in my kilowatt meter just to see what kind of uh, watts and amperage I can produce. Um, that's just at a uh, kind of like a slow pace, enough to charge a battery. I go a little faster. It'll definitely give me a good workout. I can probably get about 18 volts out of it at a pretty good clip. Yeah. But we'll give this a try next couple days or so with my grid tie inverter. And I might throw on another video just to uh, give you an update. Looks like I have to do some adjusting here. The motor slipped off to one side. Um, Still makes good contact, but uh, I'll see what I can do about getting this more secure, hold it in place. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.